to start with let's have a look at this simple stack up problem now this is a part which is having these three dimensions so these two are dimension at 14 plus or minus 0.1 and the larger dimension is 70 plus or minus 0.2 now if you want to find the specifications of this dimension which is shown over here that is the nominal plus or minus tolerance if you want to find out the specification of this gap then what should we be doing so to follow the process which has been earlier mentioned first label a and b so a and b then we need to identify the loop diagram which goes from a towards b so this loop diagram will be starting from this line towards left considering the fact that left to right is positive right to left is negative that is the uh, sign convention which we will follow so from a we go towards left so we come to this line then we go towards right we come to this line and then we go towards the left again to reach at b so this is the loop diagram starting from a towards left then towards right then again towards left reaching at b so this is the loop diagram as you can see this is the starting point we go towards the left since we are going towards the left then we have to consider this dimension to be negative so this 14 is negative we come to this line then we go go towards the right so this dimension is positive so 70 is positive when we come over here we again go towards left this dimension is again negative so now if we are tabulating this positive and negative dimensions we get the table right here so the progression of the rows is nothing but the instances of the dimension which we are encountering as we go from point a to point b so the first line indicates the first dimension and its tolerance 14 plus or minus 0.1 we put it under the minus column since this is minus the next instance is 70 plus or minus 0.2 so this dimension is plus so we put it under plus column so 70 over here plus or minus 0.2 tolerance and again 14 which is again in minus so under minus column 14 plus or minus 0.1 then we find out the sum so sum of all the plus values only there is only one plus value which is 70 there are two minus values 14 and 14 so we get this sum over here 28 now to get the nominal dimension of the gap ab we'll have to subtract 28 from 70 so 70 minus 28 is 42 so 42 will be the nominal dimension of this ab gap and the tolerance for that specification would be the addition of, of all the tolerances plus or minus 0.1 plus or minus 0.2 and plus or minus 0.1 summing them all we get plus or minus 0.4 so the final specification of the gap ab will be 42 plus or minus 0.4 so this is a very simple example to demonstrate the process of doing the tolerance stack up analysis. We will go into much more detailed examples and examples also dealing with GDNT in the coming lectures.